you should kill me. If not, I'll destroy you. Really? Will you? I can't think of a better way to die. You're right there. You will die. We'll all die. But first, you will serve me. If you think I would ever help you in the slightest way. Save it. If you want to help me, you will help me. Poor information leads to poor decisions. And I control everything, you know. But I don't need another prawn. I don't want another prawn. I want a general. It'll be a cold day in hell before I join you. Oh, the game with the religion. Hell, heaven, God, devil. If all it takes is a cold day in hell, that's fine by me. Winter's not that far away. And I'm a patient woman. You think forging a hell in this world justifies your acts? Let me be the one to break it to you. It doesn't work that way. You're right. It doesn't work that way. You think me the devil? You see me as an agent of evil? Open your eyes, assassin. I'm a woman much like you. You want to see the wellspring of evil? Well, look inside or on the streets at your fellow woman or in a church. This world begets evil. Your God created it. Who created us in his likeness? There's your source of evil. <sighs> you don't believe me? No. You think the Emperor, she's the one to blame. She hurts people. She, she sucks away the goodness in life. You sit there in your cell and lament how you've been wronged. How everyone's been wronged. You feel superior and enlightened. But what you fail to recognise is that I have given you that. You are a sick, delusional viper. Oh, and you are a meek, deluded lamb, holding on to a comfortable fantasy because it makes you happy. Not caring in the slightest, it's just a dream. I rule, and in doing so, I deliminate the greys. Do you know how many people die each month now compared to a decade ago? I have replaced squabbling with purpose. People need constraints and I provide them. You provide fear. Yes! Yes, at last we agree. But what is fear? If not a man's cage, limits, boundaries. People need boundaries. Without them, they'll destroy themselves. People need hope. <laughs> hope. People have hope. Hope is like a weed. It always returns. You couldn't take it away if you tried. That's what's so nice about it. It grows everywhere. From the fairest Eden to the darkest, most poisonous soil. Look at you! Captive, tortured, rotting away in a dungeon. You could have stopped eating, you could be dead by now, but you endure. Why? Hope. One guard looking the wrong way at the right time. A sliver of metal from the torture chamber that you can't conceal just long enough to hurl in my eye. Hope. It flourishes in you. The berries tint that all the pain will be worth it. If you can just... And you seek to destroy it at every turn. Do I? Is your hope gone? Every moment in your torture chamber fuels my hope. Indeed. I know it does. Do you deny what your soldiers do? 
Could you be so blind as to think that they inspire hope? Now, why in the world would I want to let weeds overgrow even? Mm -hmm. One weed in the darkness that is quite a different situation than an entire empire overrun with them. Think of my troops as gardeners. The lands must be tended. Do you really believe in this? This rhetoric? You can't be that stupid. Neither can you. That's why I intend to show you the truth. Your truth. The truth. Plain and simple. Comfort begets misery, Geraldine. Hate me for it if you must, but I didn't make it that way. You can blame your almighty God for that. The world is as it is. I am no more a villain than the wolf that kills the deer. Nature's cruel assassin. You should know that by now. The wolf does not kill needlessly. Neither do I. You don't seem worried. You should be. Uprisings, revolts, they're like the swell of the tide. The day they stop, that's when I'll worry. Most people would say you've got it backwards. That's why I rule and they serve. Why do you tell me these things? Because you have the capacity to understand. Someday you will be my general. And I'd rather you be effective. You're wrong. But that's not what I meant. Why do you tell me what's happening in the world? Why wouldn't I? I have the opportunity to gain and nothing to lose. Suppose I were devising a plan of escape. This might help me identify a moment of opportunity. Well, I expect you to be constantly devising and revising a plan of escape. You'd be quite the disappointment otherwise. But as for it providing you the key to your freedom, that is not likely. You and the rest of the world are separable problems now. That's why I so enjoy our time together. I'm separable. A ruler craves separable problems. Society is in an intricate machine, a, a grand playing ball that is carefully balanced on the head of a pin. And every lever pulls on the gears in some unique way. Raise a tax here, merchants shift over there, farmers squabble to fill the gaps, and suddenly your governors start fixing things on their own. Overseeing an empire is like juggling a thousand balls, each with one tied to 20 others. It's almost enough to drive a woman mad. <laughs> And then fate brings me you, an unexpected gift delivered right to my doorstep, a diamond in a lockbox, challenge, reward, a self-contained puzzle independent from everything else. Maybe it's more than enough to drive a woman mad. <laughs> Indeed, but not this woman. You'd be the last one to know. I'd certainly be the last one to care, but you're wrong. I'd be the first to know. Rest assured, my friend, there's no one I scrutinise more carefully than myself. <laughs> Hardly seems possible to watch yourself more closely than you watch me. Unless you found some clever way to stare up your own ass. <laughs> I have servants to do that for me. So, what are you going to do? Checkmate you, of course. I wasn't talking about this. Neither was I. The revolt. What will you do about the revolt? What would you do? It's not my problem. Oh, you think I'm here for civic advice? Please. 
if there is even a shred of a possibility that some thought I might help you, I'd sooner die than share it. Ah, you're a coward. And you're a fool. Oh, I won't even try to solve the problem out of fear, but it might lead you to agree with me on something. And you think that someday I'll actually agree with you on something? It's not me you'd be agreeing with. They're not my rules. I didn't create them. I simply understand human nature and the rest falls into place. Understand human nature? You? You're barely human at all. Humans feel. You feel nothing. People care and love and cry. Is there anything you care about? Do you ever lose control over anything? It bothers you that I value reason over emotion? Interesting. And was it emotion that brought you here? Did you wake up one morning enthralled with a burning fury and storm off to assassinate the evil emperor? Or did you plan it out? step by step what skills what resources what path is most likely to succeed check so what are you going to do hmm, i'll let the revolt run its course for another two weeks early on my soldiers will incarcerate the punish and eventually kill some innocent people that will enrage the populace. What? There's no point to brush fire if it doesn't clear out some undergrowth. But... You had your chance to speak and you declined. Once the people are passionate and focused, we'll begin to raid more precisely. True dissidents, the ones who are now emboiled in to stand and fight, they will be killed. About two months from now, the leaders of the revolt will come forth. They'll talk of how they've been misled. How could you possibly know this? It's your move. You started it. The leaders will claim that they were not really in charge, merely the rooks and knights of the true masterminds. And who? The ones incarcerated at the beginning. The innocent people. And so the uprising fades like an ebbing tide that has been deposited. Its dissident floaters among the shore before retreating to the sea. The people. The people return to their homes. They sit around their evening fires and nurse their guilt for wrongfully hating the empire in those early weeks look what we've done they'll say if we had but known perhaps the other lives would not have been lost it's a win all round in the hen house guilt makes the chickens docile once more and they return to laying eggs they return to laying eggs for the empire the foxes stirred into action have been identified and eliminated and the so-called leaders are never seen again. A fine reminder to everyone of what can happen when you stand against the empire. It's... Thank you. A lie. It's all a lie. Of course it's a lie. What's your point? The point? is that you kill innocent people to further your own ends. You manipulate them. You leave them wallowing in guilt, just so. There, see? See what emotions will do to your thinking if you let them run amok. Will innocent people die? Yeah, but who is feeling guilty? The people who rose up against the empire? Let's look at William Wheelwright and Charles Candlemaker. 
If they joined into a rebellion, should they not feel guilty? And if they didn't, are they not rightly rewarded with the moral high ground over their neighbours? Innocent people die. And again, I ask, what's your point? It's not right. It's not right. Oh, do tell, assassin. What is right? I simply can't help but wonder at your basis for comparison. Oh, it's still your move. It's called compassion. Perhaps you've heard of it. Check. <sighs> oh, compaction, Geraldine. It's an emotion, not a doctrine of conduct. Does the lion feel compassionate for the chisel? Perhaps, but he still eats it. It's not the same. It's exactly the same. A lion kills to survive. A lion doesn't waste what it kills. <sighs> you need to expand your thinking. You imply that I kill needlessly, but that's not true. Is this really all about meat to you? Would it all be fine to you if, rather than letting the families bury their loved ones, I feed the carcass to my hunting dogs? What gives you the right to decide who lives and who dies? I am the emperor. That's no answer. Yes, you're the empress. But I say that means you have no obligation to protect people. You have to protect them. I do protect people. With a few surgical deaths, I prevent hundreds or thousands more. Some people would say that a purposeful death is the ultimate gift. Is that, is that not your very situation? Did you not come here to trade your life for mine? Yes, but I made that choice. Do you ask those victims if they are willing to die for your greater cause? Do you give them a choice? That's so noble. But the world doesn't work like that. Does the lioness ask the Giselle if it's willing to die to feed her cubs? Nature doesn't recognise sympathy. Every time it comes to morality, you duck your head under the covers and cry, it's not my fault, it's not my fault. I rule, but it's the world that makes the rules. You seek fairness? Yes. Then steal yourself a disappointment. Fairness? <laughs> Nothing more than a fairy tale for people who cannot comprehend balance. You know, I think I finally understand. Do you? You are no empress. You are a steward. You can't change the nature of the world. How would you know you don't even try? You're a fool. And you're a coward. It's your move. Do you concede? Oh, you've already lost. It's mate in three. See if you can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs>